I just bought this brand new Tesla. I'm gonna customize it and then surprise David Dobrik with it. But first, let's get it cleaned and ready to customize. Now you might be wondering why I'm doing this. David Dobrik just announced he's opening his very own pizza restaurant called Dobrik's. David's also known for giving away the most extravagant cars. Oh and I'm known for customizing them. What's up? I'm just putting together the Iron Man. It collapsed and it went all over the room. Are you serious? No, no. <laughs> I actually wanted to call you because we really need like a delivery car. And I know you can create the craziest stuff. And I thought maybe you'd have an idea for it. I don't know. How long do we have? A week? Okay, yeah, yeah. Is that possible? I think so. All right, guys, for the car design, I'm thinking we go with the Dobrix logo with bright red and green to really make it pop. I really like this. I think it looks good. Me too, but what are we gonna do about the coin? With some of the purchases of David Dobrix pizza, you get these coins right here. So to make this car even more special, I'm thinking we build a giant version of the coin, put it on the roof, and have it spin in a 360 motion just like Mario. Yahoo! Okay, but how are we gonna do that? Actually, right now, I have no idea how we're gonna do this, but until then, I'm gonna take this to the shop and have them start wrapping the car. We got our design right here. This is about to be shot through our Latex 560 printer, so it'll get us the best color that we can. That sounds expensive. It is a very expensive printer. These ones run about the same price as a Tesla. <laughs> wow. After spending thousands of dollars using the world's best printer, the installers could start turning the Tesla into the most insane pizza delivery car in the world. Dang, this thing looks sick. Wow, this thing is crazy. David Dobrik is going to love this. The color is so good. We have his branding right here, their social medias. The green just pops on this like crazy. We made sure to add the Tesla logos back on the top. Find us on Sunset Boulevard. We still have a lot of work left to do. Somehow we have to put a spinning coin on the roof of this car. This is gonna be ridiculously hard. I have to make this thing a thousand times larger than this one. And there's nowhere to attach it to on the roof. This is an all glass roof, which means we cannot drill into it. We're gonna to have to use suction cups or a roof rack. We have a lot to figure out. This coin is gonna be very difficult. Why do we never have time for these projects? David Dobrik is literally opening this restaurant in three days. We still have to build the coin, figure out a way to make it spin, and we have to drive it all the way across the country to California, which is a two day drive alone. I've been helping Alex with a motor that might work, so I'm gonna go keep helping him with that. It's gonna be really really hard to freehand sculpt this coin, so we're gonna make a 3D model and then print it out. While Aaron's busy making the model, I'm gonna go check on the progress Alex has made with his spinning machine for the coin. This is the mechanism that will be turning our giant coin on the roof of David's car, but first we're gonna be using the regular size coin to see if that works. So Alex just spent tons of hours coding. This is the computer, this is what makes it all run. Once I press this button, the coin should spin. Three, two, one, go. Oh! It's spinning! That is so sick, look at that. That is crazy. Since the car is wrapped, we're gonna load it into a truck and trailer and start driving two days to California. Since the coin on top isn't done, I'm gonna stay back and continue working on that, then fly and meet the car in California and surprise David Dobrik. All right, it is currently 10 a.m. We're hitting the road now, a thousand miles left. The guys have stayed behind, so hopefully they can finish the coin. If they don't finish the coin in time, then we won't be able to give David Dobrik the test. We just 3D printed David Dobrik's coin into a bunch of different pieces. We're gonna use this as a reverse mold, but first we have to weld every piece together. Jim and I are driving through the mountains and we're about four hours into our drive. The tires are stuck in the snow. Look how deep this snow is on the truck tires. Right here we have this tray with our coin attached that we're gonna be pouring our resin in to make a mold. So this is a mold release agent. We have to spray it on top of the coin so that when it's dry, we can pull the mold off of it without the coin sticking to it. If we mess this up, it'll be really bad. This is thousands of dollars of resin. Come on! <laughs> We have over 800 miles still left to go. We are currently stuck in traffic. Oh! It worked, right? That's beautiful. <laughs> We're gonna be using this mold and putting these little steel rods inside of this forge, heating it up and pouring it in there so we can have a solid metal coin. Ooh. Whoa. Is that normal? Yeah. I'm so nervous. Okay, you ready? I'm scared. Whoa! We're entering a tunnel. Hold your breath. I'm glad Jim's driving because I'm about to pass out. Whoa. Whoa! What's happening? It seems like it's way too hot for this. It's not supposed to do that. What is that stuff in the air? What That's is that? our mold blowing away. Oh my goodness. It's melting our entire mold. It is so smoky in here. Is this okay to breathe in? 
feels like we've been driving for forever, but we're only in Utah. We still have two more states to drive through. 700 miles left. I really hope the guys are making progress on the coin or done with it by now. All of this area right here is just completely ruined, just melted through. So we can't even use this mold and try again. This stuff takes like 24 hours to cure, and we have to surprise David with this in 18 hours. All right, let's wash it off and see what we got. All those chunks right there are the details to his eyes and stuff. His eye is completely smooth now. The mold's ruined. This day has not gone to plan at all. It's currently 12.30 at night right now, and the mold just burnt to shreds. But luckily, we are powered by G Fuel to give me some energy so we can hopefully come up with a solution. While I tell you about G Fuel, let's see if we can come up with a plan to fix this coin. I'm not having any ideas, though. It's due in 12 hours. G Fuel is a healthier energy drink that helps me stay focused and find solutions when things go wrong. Where did we build the mold last time? We 3D printed something and then just pour that around it. I don't even know if this would work, but could we possibly use like our, our 3D prints and just use that as the coin? That's actually genius. They're not perfect since we are using them to create a mold, but if we spend a little time sanding and, and fixing them, I think this will work. G Fuel's best sale of the entire year is back for Black Friday. For a limited time only, you can buy one G Fuel tub and get one free, no code necessary. Now let's paint this coin. To take things to the next level, this sale features some new incredible flavors, such as Grandma's Apple Pie and Ninja's Cotton Candy. Make sure to check out G Fuel's Black Friday sale using the link in my description. I love you, G Fuel. Now I'm gonna be adding the gold flake finish so this shines just like the real coin. With the gold finish, this coin is looking incredible. Look at that shine on this thing. I am so tired, it's 1 a.m. I have the faces of the coin painted. Once I glue all three sections together, it'll create one massive coin. Okay, so right now we're just checking out the Tesla, making sure it's okay, and Jim, what did you just say? It shifted over. It shifted, huh? We have about two inches from the wall. On this side, oh my gosh, we have like six inches. So it definitely shifted. Hopefully there's no scratch or dings on it. Another one of my biggest concerns is seeing if they will let us bring this on the plane. Right now we have no other option since the truck and trailer already left. So unfortunately we don't have enough time to test this and see if it actually spins. I'm running late for the airport so I just have to throw this into the box and hope it works when we see David. It's 4 a.m. I have the coin loaded back there. I'm heading straight to the airport to meet with Hayden in California to hopefully surprise David Dobrik. I'm exhausted but I can't let David down. He's one of my heroes. Next stop, California. So I just linked up with Hayden. Thank goodness. Now it's time to open up my luggage and see if the coin is completely ruined. This ain't bad. Here's the most important part, the coin. How's that look? Yes. Good? Looks perfect. I am currently 20 minutes away from surprising David Dobrik with a Tesla. In my videos, I don't do this a lot, but when I originally started, I was a gaming content creator. And once I started watching David Dobrik's vlog, I loved him so much and it inspired me. So I started vlogging with my friends, just very heavily inspired by him. And I always had this crazy dream. I even told my family that one day I was gonna give David Dobrik a Tesla. Everybody thought I was crazy. I guess they were right. I, I kept working. I've spent hundreds of days in a row. I was up till 4 a.m. this morning. When I was a smaller YouTuber, like this stuff just seemed so far away. What I can tell you guys is a lot of people go to college and they know they're not gonna get their degree the first day. It takes four years. That's how it is with everything. I first had this dream like three and a half, four years ago and now here I am today making it happen. I'm so incredibly touched and, and thankful for everything that you guys have done for me. Thank you so much. Let's go give David Dobrik a Tesla. So we are outside of the restaurant right now. It's time to start setting things up. We gotta be quick, David's gonna be here in two minutes. Yeah, push down. Ready? Yep. Go. Okay, that's on. I got it. Matt, I got it. First time moving with the coin on top. There he is. There. So you got it done. I did. Is it made out of Legos? <laughs> no, it's not. I'm a little bit nervous. I'm really nervous. I'm nervous. Too. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. Yes. You can take the blindfolds off in three, two, one. Check it out. Oh, wow. Clean, bro, and it's a Tesla. <laughs> that is ridiculous. That's shiny, huh? Bro, this is a ridiculous delivery car. This is like elegant. This is perfect. You know what I mean? Like it's not cheesy. Just press that switch and it should spin. This is gonna be the first time that we're testing it together. Do it. There we go. Oh wow! Bro, well done! I'm 
blown away by the amount of drive you have, no pun intended, to keep this stuff <laughs> yeah. going. Congrats on hustling, congrats on killing it. Thank you. The reason I started vlogging is because of what you've accomplished, so this is, I'm freaking out right now. Really? Yeah. So it's crazy. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs>